My name is Lori Rubin, and I will be taking you through several images where we will be replacing bland, boring skies and adding some clouds to add more interest and drama to our photos. With Luminar's ability to add image layers, masking, and a variety of filters, the sky is the limit. You can work along with this video or sit back and watch. On the first image, I'll be working on a PC, and on the second image, we'll be working on a Mac in Luminar 2018. I will take you through adding some nice sky images to a daytime image and an evening image using several techniques such as gradient mass, blending modes, and filter effects. In this first image, we will begin by cropping this image of a herd of elephants in Africa. Since we won't be using presets in this exercise, you can close the preset icon at the top of the screen to hide the presets along the bottom. This will give the photo more real estate on your desktop. Since I want to show more of the sky and less of the foreground in this image, let's select the Tools drop-down menu and choose Crop. If you want to select a specific aspect ratio, you can select the Aspect menu. In this case, we are not concerned about keeping this image to a particular size. We just want to remove part of the foreground. As you hover your cursor over the edges of the image, your cursor will change. You can resize and rotate your image, but let's click on the bottom and drag it up so that it will remove about half of the foreground, then select Done. Let's make a few adjustments to this image so that it's not so dark by adding the Raw Develop filter. Click on Add Filters and Locate Raw Develop. If you were to open a JPEG or other file format other than Raw, the filter would be labeled as Develop. Close the Filters catalog by either clicking on the Close button or the Add Filters button. Since this image is a bit dark, we will make a couple of adjustments. Let's begin by adding some warmth to our image by moving the temperature slider to the right. Next, by moving the exposure slider and moving it to the right, this will lighten our image. Now it's time to add some clouds to our plain sky. Across from where it says Layers, there is a plus sign, and this is where you can add new layers. In this case, we want to select Add New Image Layer so that we can add our clouds. Locate your sky file and select Open. By clicking on the eye icon or Preview button, you can see that the elephants are on the layer below. Now we're ready to apply a gradient mask to our skies layer in order to reveal the elephants below. With the skies layer still selected, choose the brush, and then choose Gradient Mask. The instructions indicate that you can now click and drag to draw a gradient. Simply click about two-thirds below on your image and drag it so that the bottom of the sky fades just above the elephants. You can move the gradient mask and expand or contract the transition so that you can see a more realistic effect. Once you are happy with the result, select Done. I like to check to make sure there isn't any overflow from the sky onto my subjects, so I'll turn on and off the preview. If you need to remove part of the sky layer, choose the brush again, and this time select the brush. Choose the Erase button since we want to remove part of the sky, and with the opacity selected at 100%, start painting where you don't want the sky to be. To see the mask and where you erased, click on the I button. The mask that shows in red indicates that's where the sky image is showing. So this lets you see more easily where to add or remove the sky. Select the eye button again to hide the mask. To fine tune and make further adjustments to our image, we can adjust the top and bottom areas of our image by using the adjustment gradient filter. This will allow us to make further adjustments to the top and bottom areas of our image. First, let's add an adjustment layer so that we can apply a filter to the entire image. Choose Add Filter, and then select the Adjustment Gradient Filter. Close your Filters Catalog. Any changes that you make to these sliders will affect either the top or bottom area of the image. Let's begin with the top button selected. I want to lighten the sky a bit more, so I will move the Exposure slider to the right and make the clouds pop a bit more by moving the Contrast slider. We can also adjust the orientation of the top area by moving the sliders under the orientation section. 
Next, let's choose the bottom button. I'll move the warmth slider a little to the left to cool down the image with a bit of a blue cast. To see where we've come since adding the new sky and making a few changes with filters and gradient masks, you can select the eye preview to show before and after. And you can also use the compare button to show a split screen for before and after. I think this image looks much more dramatic than when we started out with just a plain blue sky. For our next image, we'll add some clouds to our sunset to give it a different look and feel. This time we will be adding blending modes and a couple of different filters. First, let's add some clouds by selecting Add New Image Layer. Locate an image with clouds and choose Open. Let's select the brush in the skies layer and choose Gradient Mask. Click and drag to add the mask and move it into position. Don't forget to move the transitions so that the sky fades in naturally with the background. When you're finished, click Done. If you want to remove any of the new sky layer from your subject, simply click on the brush and choose Erase. Because we want to make a soft eraser, we can choose the mask menu and change the feather of our brush. This makes the edges softer. Remove the sky layer from the writer and choose Done. Another great filter that allows us to adjust the lighting in our image is the top and bottom lighting filter. First, let's add an adjustment layer so that the effect will be applied to the entire image and not just the mask that we created for the sky layer. Choose the top and bottom filter from the filters catalog. Let's darken our sky to add a bit more drama. Choose the top slider and move it to the left to darken the top of our image. Try moving the bottom slider to the right to lighten the bottom area. You can also set the orientation. If you want to darken the top of the sky even more, you can always add the filter again. Don't be afraid to experiment. You might come up with some really great results. Another way to get interesting results is to blend the colors in layers or filters by using blend modes. Choose the menu that says Normal and this will give you a selection of choices to change color and light. The different sections indicate different results. So we've got Normal, Darken, Lighten, Contrast, Inversion, and Component. Let's choose the Screen Blending Mode, which lightens the colors in our image. It looks like our photo was taken in midday. Select Soft Light, which is in the Contrast section. Now, our horse and rider are silhouetted against the background. You can always adjust the opacity of the layer or how much of the effect you want to add. We have taken an image with a clear sky and added some clouds along with some masking filters and blending modes to get our final result. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll experiment with adding clouds to your own images.